Hello folks. So it's only a one rig night tonight and I'm going after the Crescent Nebula. Um, it's an object I capture every year but I waited a little bit too long this year. Now it's already past the meridian but I think I can still get at least six hours on it um, eventually. Um, and I'm going to add it on to the, the 12 hours I captured last year and uh, maybe I can do it a little better this time with the extra data. Um, I didn't check the framing that I had last year, but since the, uh, I, I'm pretty sure that um, even last year I put the Crescent Nebula in the middle, so the, at, at worst I just have to crop a lot around the edges. So we'll see how that goes, and uh, uh, the Bader filters arrived today for my Rasa. Uh, today's Friday, by the way, I'm not sure when you're going to see this video. Um, I don't know what the date is, I can't even keep track these days. But um, I, I just ran out of energy. I, I'm totally burned out. It's been a busy week, and so I don't have the, the Rasa set up yet. It's, it's still inside the house. So, But hopefully in next week, um, uh, when I'm at 100% again, uh, I'll have that thing ready to go and, and try a first light on it. And, uh, you know, I always expect problems with the new equipment on the first night. So when I run that Rasa, it'll probably be the only scope I have out that night. Uh, just so I can focus on it in case I have to turn the backyard light on. I don't want to be worrying about um, another big that's imaging. So the, Ra the Rasa will have my undivided attention. And the only problem I probably anticipate, well, I'm not thinking of everything, of course, is that uh, collimation. I hope it survived the, the trip over to my house. And I haven't actually read the manual yet on how to collimate. Uh, it's probably a lot like my SCT, but... Um, I just want to make sure I'm ready if, if that is an issue. So uh, that's the only thing I can think of right now. Um, so, uh, but I'll be surprised if it's any worse than my refractor was. I mean, my refractor had field curvature all the way around. It had image tilt. I, I just didn't want to discuss those issues all the time. I wanted people to focus on the objects I was capturing and, and, and not the defects in my image. So. Uh, I, anything I think will be an improvement from from that and I don't know if it was the reducer that was causing the issue or if it was the fact that I was uh, one millimeter off in my spacing who knows but anyway it's getting cold I'm gonna go inside I'll talk to you later okay um, there is my CGX mount and Explorer scientific telescope pointing up at the Crescent Nebula and I didn't even bother to set up my other camera. It's just one of those nights where I am too tired. And boy, it's, it's sad when I feel guilty that I'm only running one rig per night. Go figure. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, let's see. Um, here's my guiding at 0.67. Um, I can live with that. I should be getting round stars with that. Let's take a look at SGP. Now, it looks a little bit different because I was having problems with the framing in Mosaic Wizard, and I thought up, up, upgrading to the latest beta version would uh, would solve that, and it didn't. I guess some other server was down, but now it, um, the interface just looks a little bit different. And right now, that's the Crescent. I'm trying to finish up Oxygen, doing two... Uh, four minute exposures and uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna at least capture three hours worth of data um, the only problem is I and the gain of course I always show you guys is uh, 75 15 um, and for HA the gain was unity gain 13921 but look at what was going on at the previous night it was just not a good night um, you can see my focus was off, and, but then it uh, tonight, uh, these first two subs, check out the blue. It, 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 the focus is down, which is good, and my star count went back up. <clears throat> so I don't know how much of the, the data over here uh, on the previous night I want to keep. Uh, let's take a look here. Um, okay, my sheets. Look at my star count tonight, over 500. And on the previous nights, way, way down. Oof. I thought I was going to finish Oxygen tonight. I'm going to have to look closely at this data to see if the, the previous night's any good. I mean, 
if the star count was in the 400 range, that's fine, but <clears throat> in some cases it looks like it's uh, it's just way down. And let, let's look at one sub. And somebody told me if you don't use this X, just close it using this box, that the same one you open it with, it won't shrink you out of SGP like you guys always hear me complaining about. So there's the Crescent. That's pretty strong for oxygen for one frame. That's really strong. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm a little bit off center, but I just, I should have looked at last year's data. I just hope it's somewhere near the center, and then I'll just have to crop off whatever else I don't, I can't use. Um, I didn't even look to see if I had my flat frames from last year. If I don't, I'm kind of up a creek. But what I do now is um, I save off my calibrated subs, so I don't even have to worry about flats. The, the data is already calibrated. I've been doing that lately. Um, it takes up more hard drive space, but I kind of I like that approach better. So anyway, that's all I got, folks. I will see you later.